In this video we'll talk a little bit about Texas land utilisation, uh, some flatbed work, a little update and a couple of exhausted drivers that have worked really hard this week, so hope you enjoy it. Morning. It's uh, two thirty in the morning. No Thursday morning. And I'm uh, hauling step deck this morning. Just took over from Paul. We're hauling boxes and the mats that the boxes and the forklift ride on when they're in the well. So um, it's like a really good gig. This uh, you can turn a load in an hour. Get loaded with four boxes and uh, drive for five miles and get them unloaded. So it's not a lot of fuel getting burnt today, yesterday. So more of this at a different well in the morning. So it's uh, really great. We're making some brass just now, that's for sure. Uh, we had an incident with a blue truck and the transmission that uh, the clutch actuator that goes on bolts on the side of the transmission fell off um, so one of the holes is stripped out Paul managed to find bolts off of somebody in an oil field here and stick three pins into it and get it so that we could use it um, so something went wrong somewhere along the line when the new transmission was fitted but uh, we got a bit of gratitude today I've got 102 subscribers now according to my son 5% of all YouTube channels ever get to 100, so I'm in the minority. But I don't know if that means that I'm uh, peculiar, weird, or in a good way. So uh, I'll give you a look at what's going on here with this truck and so you can see what we're doing. The yellow one here. This box is going here. butt up against that uh, bulkhead there and then we can get four on. Um, just waiting for the other truck to pull out. There's three of us on this job. Wes is on the other truck and there's another guy here so he's a pretty cool guy as well. As well. <laughs> no but um, I had a good weekend last weekend. Went up to Idaho and went to Utah first and my baby chicken youngest child daughter uh, graduated from university got a bachelor's degree and uh, she graduated with honours so extremely proud of her got to meet uh, another new grandchild uh, Elizabeth or known as Elsie so that's uh, the oldest one Tommy's child Another little grandson, he's grown, he's a little chubby chunk. He's uh, looks like he's eating uh, all of his brother's food. <laughs> but um, things are going good here. Trucks have been running well, plenty of busy. Um, I see some of my comrades and a YouTuber having some difficulties with their trucks and the road and I know what that feels like and it seems like it's, it's our turn. Don't want to jinx it because I'm leaning on wood on the trailer. So we can get a little break of good luck here so um, what else has been happening uh, it's that just working went and looked at some flatbed trailers yesterday some step deck flatbeds that are California compliant and brand new straight out of the wrapper but they're uh, they ain't cheap to be honest with you um, but the rates look really good with the step decks. Everywhere I look, uh, it doesn't seem to be many dead spots. Just try to keep my eyes out of here. Um, eyes out, my eyes open, looking out. Uh, what else we got? I took a video earlier of it with uh, uh, windmills and oil pumps and field of 
crops, you know, somebody making a massive use out of the land, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so we're on this, not this well, this will be finished sometime during the night here, I think we've got two or three loads each left. But once that's done, tomorrow morning we're on another well doing a similar thing, so yeah, I quite like this. It's a bit of variety. So. Uh, Paul's way back to the hotel to get a sleep and Wes is still working, so I'll finish this in Paul's truck and then I'll jump into Wes's in the morning probably because he'll be quite worn out by the time uh, we get done here tonight. Um, but things are great, working out well. Uh, looked at some other trucks this week as well when I was up in Dallas. Um, some tasty bits of kit. I've never, I mean, it came with T680 with a Cummins in it and a 13 speed. Looked like quite an impressive bit of kit. I was impressed by the little table that slides out, you know, so anyway, I think I'm up, batter up, I better go get unloaded, so I'll speak back in a minute. Hi there, I don't know where I'm going to put this into one of my videos, but I just thought I'd stop. Uh, this says everything about Texas here, really, I think. So, land utilisation, alright, there you go. They're sucking the oil out of the ground. They've got windmills on top of the ground, sucking the energy out of the air, and they've got crops in the field here. So somebody's making some proper cash out of that. There's a windmill as far as you can see, and pump jacks uh, getting the oil out of the ground. So, lovely evening. Just thought that kind of came in my head there and I thought there's a way to make some cash, stick some windmills in your ground, take the oil out from the bottom of it and then plant some crops on it. Don't know what they are right enough but who knows. Okay, just a trivial bit of information there. Hi, just finishing off this week's video. Uh, Sunday the 4th of August. It's been a great week for us here in uh, West Texas. Well, the record week that we've ever had. Um, a little bit one there with the guys asleep. It's middle of the day and uh, we've worked really hard this week. Credit to them. Um, the trucks have run well. A couple of little issues with the blue truck. One, one with the blue truck, the transmission, but we fixed it ourselves. The cooling fan uh, kept trying to come on in the yellow truck, but we fixed that ourselves. Just a little air leak. And we found a hose that was a bit soft, so we got some hose place some hoses in the in the Cummins. So be a good week, nice day today. We're all sitting in standby looking for a load. And uh, yeah it's been a good week. Uh, trying to start looking at some alternatives, some flatbed work and uh, watch this space really with that. Um, we're gonna start planning with time home now. Um, try to see who's gonna go first, who's gonna go, you know and coordinate, coordinate that in amongst putting out other trucks on the road or trailers or such like. So just want to make it so that we don't end up getting an extra truck and it sits well at home. So try and make all that into a schedule and try to make it happen. But it's been a good week. The flatbed and made a good uh, addition to what we do. It's low mileage and uh, it really makes a big difference to your fuel consumption. So, hope you're enjoying these videos. If you have any suggestions about flatbed work, I'd appreciate those. And uh, yeah, those guys who are out there with their trucks that have had a hard time this week, you have my, my condolences. It's not a nice experience, and I hope you've got them all back. And breakdowns are expensive. Uh, not just the breakdown and the repair, but uh, the time that you're off. And, cost of hotels and just all that across the freaking fortune so uh, best luck to you all and hope you're safe out there and thanks for watching these videos appreciate it a lot I think we're up to 100 and we've passed 100 subscribers now so yeah it's a little little ego boost there so thanks for watching bye bye